Hey everyone, this is a huge day for me. So a few weeks back, I got reached out to by this company that makes these bone conducting headphones, asking me to take some footage wearing them and do a review video. Um, I'll save you the Oscar speech, but it's a huge deal to me. So if you're watching and you support my channel, I really appreciate it. I'm working on getting more consistent with my content and making it a higher quality content. So please keep those views coming. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any feedback on any of my videos, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comments. Okay, I mentioned it already. The company sent me these headphones for free, so you might assume I'm gonna be a little bit positively biased, but I put the link to the Amazon order page in the description below so you can read reviews for yourself. They're available on Amazon Prime, so worst case, if they don't work, you can always return them, but between my wife and me, we've both used them quite a bit over the last few weeks, and we've had really good results. So anyway, I open the package and as you can see, it's got a sleek look with a surfer on the front. You open it up to show the headphones protected underneath that clear plastic with a cool picture of a swimmer to the side. And bear with me here. It took me a second to get them open and then to get my camera to focus. But now you can see these headphones have a smooth color combo to them. They look light, but they look durable. You've got your charging port there on the other side, and then your three buttons on the right cheek piece to control your audio. Next, we pull the plastic headphone holder out to reveal the rest of the accessories. Here we have a paper with a QR code, probably to encourage you to buy more related gear. Then a pretty nice full leather carrying pouch. Uh, inside that is a pair of earbuds, probably to block out sound when you're swimming. I haven't worn those yet, but I wear earbuds to uh, protect my ears when I'm surfing. Then you've got your instructions. These definitely come in handy. I uh, got them in a few different languages here. Please don't mind my cat. What's mine is his. You probably know this if you have a cat yourself. And lastly, we have your charger cord. All right, so the directions tell you everything you need to know about how to operate them, but once you get the hang of it, they're super easy to use, whether it's operating the buttons or connecting them to the Bluetooth or whether it's uploading songs to the 16 gigabytes of internal memory they come with. That way you don't have to take the phone with you everywhere you go. Now to the application part. First, I wanted to see how these would work if I dove underwater a ways. So I went down to between 20 and 25 feet below the surface a few times. And I gotta say, I don't understand how the technology works, but that's where I got the clearest sound. Uh, it's very impressive. It's a little hard to shoot self footage while swimming too, but I went for a short swim and they worked equally well there. Next, I took them surfing. I live in Idaho, so rather than catching saltwater waves here, we surf on the river. I wasn't able to get quite the same experience there, but that's more due to the fact that the rushing river makes a lot of noise. So I can see how these would work much better while you're sitting in the lineup on the ocean. After that, I hopped in my playboat kayak and was actually pleasantly surprised here as well. While the noise is loud when you're in the wave hole, it's kind of nice to have some music playing to help focus while you're waiting for your next turn. Uh, that, and I end up upside down underwater a lot where the sound is, again, it's perfect. So these could be cool to wear while I'm running a river as well. Lastly, I took these both mountain biking and on a little road bike commute. Unfortunately, I didn't get any mountain biking footage before I tackled my front wheel last week, but what I do like about these when it relates to biking is that they don't cover your eardrums, uh, so they don't cancel any of the surrounding sound. Uh, what's good about that is you can enjoy listening to your favorite tunes or podcasts while you ride, but also have a better awareness of other riders or vehicles around you to help keep you safe on the roads or on the trails. So to conclude, who should wear these? Well, honestly, I hear so many people talk about how they would go distance swim more if they could listen to music to cure the monotony of long distance swimming. Um, I hear people say they're afraid to wear headphones when they're riding their bike because they're afraid they won't hear cars coming. And really, this is fairly new technology, so who knows how your experience would change in activities where people don't commonly have headphones in. Uh, because they don't have an easy way to do it. I mean, if you enjoy listening to music or podcasts or ebooks, whatever, and they help you get a better experience out of whatever you're doing, then give a bone conducting pair a try for things you can't do wearing earbuds. And if you do, let me know how the experience went in the comments. 
So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, hopefully I get more stuff to review in the future, but I've got plenty of content to put out in the near future. So I'll catch you on the next video. One.